In today's video, we're going to be talking you through exactly how much it costs to build a house in Ghana. We're going to be walking through this building behind me, which is a four bedroom house with the owner, Kingsley, who's going to be talking us through exactly how much it costs him to put up this structure. So definitely stay tuned if you're interested in building a home here or just curious about how much it costs to build in Ghana. So we're with Kingsley from Ash and Gad. He's going to be talking us through how much it costs to build a four bedroom house in Ghana. So hi Kingsley. Hi, hi, hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Or mommy, you. I should say. Yeah, we've been trying to do this since last year sometime. Yeah, 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 yeah so yeah. it's great to finally meet you. Awesome. So just kindly talk us through. So we'll run you through from the substructure to the superstructure and the finishing, all of that, roofing level, everything. So right from the ground to the top. So let's talk a bit about your groundwork, your land, all of that. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, so we are, we are here, I've, I've got just over two plots. Yeah, it's very it's, big. It's, it's, very, it's, very, it's very massive, really. Very I mean, normally, as you know, in Ghana, you get a um, what, 100 by 70 feet for a single mm -hmm. plot. Yeah. But ours is about 75 by wow. 100 and something, 110 or so. So we've got, we got a bit extra, which, mm -hmm. is, which is great. It looks huge. It's <laughs> it, so spacious. It is so spacious. Yeah. Um, somebody said, oh, you can build this again. But I don't think... I don't <laughs> you could, actually. <laughs> you yeah, could, the yeah. land is really big. It is big, yeah. yeah. But, um, so, yeah. Um, in terms of the, the price of the land, we, we got it per plot for about, um, if I remember correctly, for about 47,500 okay. cities. Okay. Yeah, okay. per plot. So was this a while ago or is it a recent purchase? This was purchased, what, what, October, what year are we in? October 2020. Okay, so about two years, yeah, less eight, than two 18 years. 18 months, some okay. 16 months, okay. something like that. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. exactly, yeah. Great. So, so basically what, you, what you're seeing around you is, the first spade in the ground was the 14th of October, 2020. Okay. So, so that is, yeah, that's, what's that? Okay. We're, we're, we're in March now. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly 18 months. <laughs> right. 18 months. Okay. So let's talk about the work that you did to get this land ready for your build and the costs. Yes. How much went into all of that? Let's talk through finding the land, excavating it, making yes. it ready. Making Just talk ready. us through all of that. Yeah. So, I mean, finding the land, in fact, Finally, we went to Mekasa.com okay. when we decided to build. Because okay. obviously, before that, there was the discussion, do we buy or build? Mm -hmm. And, um, and you know, out of all that discussion, we decided to build. Okay. okay? And I'm well, sure we'll you, talk you'll about talk why about that. later. I'm <laughs> later very on. interested in that. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. But in terms of, you know, getting the land from Mekasa.com, various areas, we chose this area because we just like the locality, okay. the developing area. We like the amenities uh, 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 surrounding it. And um, so... Yes, yeah, so, so you know the land price. So in terms, obviously, the first thing is to clear the land, mm -hmm. and then obviously you've got the marking of the of the, of the building yeah. and the excavation. So what I'll say in terms of an all-round approximate mm -hmm. cost figure from the the foundation to the ground slab, yeah, uh, that that cost approximately about eighty thousand Ghana cities. Ooh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So, okay, but this is big land, so it makes big, sense. Yes, yeah. yes. But obviously, that is foundation to the ground. Obviously, just the building. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just, just okay. the the building part of it. Okay. Um, but to clear the land, obviously, it was it, it, the whole thing. The whole place was bushy, mm -hmm. bushy. With it was a massive tree in the middle, and there was all myths in the area about the tree. <laughs> You know that oh nobody haunted. nobody no, exactly haunted <laughs> nobody touch, touches this tree. There's a particular bird that comes in this tree and Serious. blah blah blah. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. But um, <laughs> but uh, we, we managed to, to to get it down. Okay. And I think that the land clearing was was probably bit, not maybe about 500 cities wasn't too bad. Okay. But okay. The, the land guards were more of an mm. issue. How did you deal with us? Talk us through that bit. The land guards again. I wasn't here, so ah, I, right. you know, okay. this yeah. this all happened via a, a trusted uncle of mine. Okay. Um, and so he dealt with, with the negotiations, but obviously I was always in communication, okay. and it, it all boiled down to paying them off. Right. You know, it all boiled down to paying them off. So now that adds to the cost of the of home. Of course, yeah. of course. And and, and the, the the negotiation came down to a thousand cities per plot. It's not legal, yeah. but it's just what they do. You I have guess. to do that to get the work going. Yeah, right. to get, get okay. peace of mind. Yeah. Okay. So in terms of the, the actual land mm. clearing, uh, which was clearing that, that massive tree I talked about, and obviously it was clearing all the bushes, and actually including the land land guard cost was was two thousand Ghana cities. Okay. Yeah, all all of that was two thousand Ghana cities, which was which was fine. Then in terms of excavation, obviously that the foundation trench mm -hmm. and, and and the columns, we actually budgeted for four thousand Ghana cities, and the reality is we spent 
exactly 4,000 Ghana cities. Wow. So that, hey. was, that was that was pretty good. I like that you kept everything. So it's so organized for you to track it. So maybe yeah. if you want to build, you can yeah. learn a thing or two from Kingsley from this. You have to track it because yeah. especially when you're dealing with some artisans and maybe they have a, a long profile in the building. Right, right, like right. for example, the guy who's doing my automated gate and, and electric, he's doing a couple of things and he's been mm -hmm. here for a long time. Yeah. So you agree the fee up front. You have to track how much you've paid, how much is remaining yeah. and, and all that stuff. Unless, you know, yeah. someone is going gonna, is gonna to cheat, either yeah. you or him. <laughs> so, so this is very helpful. The next, so we, we've also got, um, we've got the concrete and starter pillars. Obviously, the, the various starter pillars, some use 16 mil iron rods, some use 12 mm -hmm. mil iron rods. So for the versions of the 16 mil iron rods, the budget was 2750 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. The actual spend was, was 3000, okay? So 250 pounds, um, cities over. In that sense, then we've got um, the 12 mil iron rods starter pillars. They were 1,680 Ghana cities budget. Actual spend was exactly the same nice. as well. So that, that was fine. Did great with managing the costs. Exactly, yeah. exactly. As you go, stage payments all the time, unless <laughs> you know what Ghana is like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 8 mil iron rods, same concrete pillars. We budget 140 Ghana cities. Actual spend was 252. So a little bit over on that. Then we've got the um, the binding wire surrounding, again, that's fairly cheap. 100 cities, budget spent 80. Uh, we needed, obviously, the six inch solid query dust mm. blocks, which obviously are for, are for the foundation. Yeah. Okay, uh, we budgeted 5,550 Ghana cities. Actual spend was uh, f just over 5,000. Okay, mm. we then got a uh, cement, obviously, you know, different types of cement 42.4 hour or 42.5 hour. The other one, we, p we went for that one, budgeted 15,200 Ghana cities, actual spend was 13,300. Okay, okay, um, obviously, we've got sand and sa rough sand and and the stones, quarry stones as well. Total budget for both of them was 9,600 Ghana cities and actual spend was exactly 9,600 Ghana cities. You really did great managing the cost. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So do you think that's also because you were here? I wasn't here. In the beginning. In the okay, beginning. tell me a little bit about that. Yeah. So basically, you know, we, it, because we knew we weren't going to be around for the first eight months or mm -hmm. so, initially when I was just saying, I don't want the headache, let me just go and buy. Okay. At Apollonia or wherever, and then that's it because we're not here. Okay. But uh, our uncle convinced us that he could help us, okay. uh, and he's been, he was marvelous. Okay. You know, and he basically, so the money went to him and he managed Did the whole process. In so fact, you, this sheet you he were lucky this on that front because yeah. I've heard some horror stories, yeah. but you had, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you had a great, yeah. okay, that's yeah. good. Yeah, so, so, so it was all being managed by my uncle, and he's, he'd already used that builder before, so he had a, okay. a relationship okay. with, with him okay. in, the, okay. in that sense, you know. So, but would you say being here physically has further reduced the Cost. Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Absolutely. Being here physically, you know, if you can be here physically for the whole process, yeah. that would be fantastic, really. Uh, right. And being that I, I'm, I'm in the construction profession already, okay. Okay. Uh, it would help even more if, right. if, I, if I was here. Because you know where you can save some yeah, more because exactly. you have that experience. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Great exactly. Stuff. You asked about the, the filling. Yes. And let's talk about that. So, so. So in terms of the, the um, what's it called, the filling, filling the foundation, which is the, obviously the latrite right, mm -hmm. that fills the foundation, uh, the budget was 7,000 Ghana cities. We ended up spending 7,300. So a little okay. bit, a little bit over, over in, in, in that sense, yeah. but not, not too much. Mm. Um, plumbing materials is about uh, 1,000 Ghana cities. We spent 733, right. okay. Um, labor and supervision was 30,000 budget. Uh, the actress, exactly that. 30,000 wow. in terms of labor. That, this is very impressive, the way your estimates and your actual spend are spot on. Yes, That's so crazy. overall, our, our, our budget estimate was just over 83,000 Ghana cities. For all the... For all the clearing yeah. and the excavation, the latra, everything I've just mentioned, that was okay. our budget. And But the actual spend was 79,300 nice. Ghana cities. So very a variance nice. of about yeah. just under 4,000 Ghana cities. That's very nice. Now, now obviously, I mean, I've got videos on, the, on our channel, so, so perhaps you can, you can share we'll it. We'll link, link that, yeah. So between. you can check out their channel if you want to follow their process. Yes, currently still documenting it. Yes, so you, yeah. You can see where they're at exactly. if you're interested in that. Exactly, okay. exactly. Let's move on from that. Yep. So we're done with the foundation. Let's move move on to the build itself, the block work and all of that. The, oh, right. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you're talking about from the ground up. The upwards. ground up. From yes. The ground upwards. Absolutely. Absolutely. And um, in terms of that, we've got, again, we broke it into stages. So okay. stage A was the foundation, as you see. And now mm -hmm. we're, I can talk about from the ground to the first floor, which is obviously okay. just up to the 
the slab of the of the first floor oh, okay. as, as they call it in ghana they call it the flow don't they yeah yeah so <laughs> up to the flow so again in that sense we call that stage b we had a budget of 102,000 and 50 Ghana cities. Okay. Okay. That was a total. The actual spend was 101,586 okay. Ghana cities in, in total. Uh, I know you want a bit of a breakdown. So a bit of a breakdown, yes. Definitely. That would be great. <laughs> so uh, in terms of, I just cover uh, the, the continuation pillars, obviously, from, the, from okay. going upwards. Um, in terms of the 16 mil and 8 mil iron rods, we had a total budget of 4,200 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. Actual spend was... 4,100 Ghana cities. Okay. okay, so there or thereabouts. Uh, binding wire would actually 100 cities, estimate 80 cities spend. Okay, um, decking, obviously the various iron, iron, uh, various, various iron, iron rods for the mm -hmm. decking and binding. I just, I just totaled them all up. So approximately, the budget approximately for all of them were, was about 12,500, yes, 12,500. But the actual spend was about, again, there was six, that was more expensive. That was about eighteen thousand. Hmm. Yeah, so so it's a bit, it's yeah, a bit, it's a bit, a bit, a bit of a variance there. You know, but you know, you know, but sometimes you see some some are higher, some are lower. Yeah. But the overall total yeah, you was. You are saving overall. Yeah, yeah, overall, yeah. So that's that's pretty. Um, six inch blocks, more of those. Uh, we, that was nine thousand two hundred and fifty. Budget actually spent seven thousand two hundred. Nice. Then we've got this the cement budget eleven thousand four hundred Ghana cities. Actual spend nine thousand. 120. Wow. Sorry, what's the total square, the floor area? The here? floor area uh, per level is about uh, just over 200 square meters. Okay. So it's about wow. 400 square meters That's overall. Huge. Yeah. yeah, for a four bed. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Yeah, it is, it, is, it is huge. I mean, yeah, we like the atrium, in, 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 which, you, which you'll see in a minute. Okay. Um, Further materials, sand, query, query stones. 8,400 Ghana cities budget, actual spend was 5,200. So there's nice. a bit of a saving yeah. there. You, you have to tell us how you were able to save all this money, honestly. <laughs> it's very impressive. Yeah, I mean, it, it boils down to uh, it comparing. You and know, planning. And planning. You, you did have it planned out. Had, yeah. pl had it planned out to know the stages. And I tell people, even if you're not into, into construction, you can have some basic idea, a high level. That's the aim of our channel, to give people a high level idea mm -hmm. so that they can uh, monitor what's going on they can yeah. have some involvement in it at the end of the day it's your house yeah. uh, and also um, you can manage the cost mm -hmm. so if we, for, for most things we would go out to at least two or three different people right. to have a cost comparison mm -hmm. before we, we settled with whoever i mean the yeah. windows for example you know we had we had three quotes one one came in about thirty one thousand ghana cities okay. another one came in at 33 and then somebody else came in about fifty two thousand ghana cities <laughs> so <laughs> you if see. you're not comparing you wouldn't know that yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, so, so that's that's what it boiled down to. Mm. Uh, more about the materials from ground to first. In terms of the, um, I'll just put this all collectively. You get wawa boards, <laughs> bamboo plywood nails. We estimated at twenty thousand Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. Actual spend was nineteen thousand five hundred and fifty-nine. Okay. Then we've got the um, the plumbing materials. We estimated at thousand five hundred. Ghana cities, obviously the that's just the pipe got coming through yeah. the, the ground for the toilets, etc. Uh, and the actual spend was 1,051, okay. Uh, and um, um, we had some, we always have some unplanned expenses. Uh, mm -hmm. we, 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 did have a, we always have to have a contingency yeah. at every stage. Right. So we had 2,700 Ghana cities as, as a contingency. The actual spend on that was 5,170, mm -hmm. okay. okay. Some of that comes down to the, 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 the decision to, to buy the scaffold rather than rent it. Okay. Um, I think the rental was, I can't remember exactly, maybe about 500 cities a day or something. It, it, it was a significant Expensive, rental, yeah. yeah. And obviously, we're going to keep it throughout the whole process. Mm -hmm. So we decided to just go buy ahead and buy it. it. Right. Uh, it it's always useful in the future. You never know when you need to go yeah. to a higher level. And so the, the buying of it was, I think, 3,000 Ghana cities. That makes so much more sense yeah. than renting it per day. Yeah. Yeah. Saves yeah. you so much. It does. Yeah. It does. It does. So wow. that, that's that's how we 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 did that really. You know. Mm. So coming back, do you in terms of obviously the land filling and the comp compacting came later. Okay. Okay. But I can tell your views about about that now definitely, if you like. Definitely. So so obviously when we when we first bought the land, you know, mm -hmm. and we had to raise yeah. this 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 building because sometimes you get some water from the yeah, mountains especially with the nature of the land in exactly this area. exactly mm -hmm. so we had to we had to raise the foundation mm -hmm. quite significantly and uh, there was a lot of filling that has that has gone on here <laughs> i mean you're talking about 16 trips of laterite in what? total 
Yeah. That's a lot. That's expensive. Yeah. 16 trips of laterite at, um, how much is it each? At 600 Ghana cities Sheesh. each. So what does that work out? 9,600 Ghana yeah. cities. That's just expensive. For the, just yeah. for the filling alone. And obviously, you know, you, you, about 150 cities to spread each trip as well. So. Wow. Yeah, so you can. That's a lot. It, it, it is quite a bit. It That's is, a disadvantage of a huge land, I guess. Yes, exactly. Huge <laughs> land to fill it to get to get the slope right. You need to decide how the the ground drainage is going to mm -hmm. work, whether it's going to drain to the front or to the back, back. And, and and all that stass as well. So then that's the filling of the latch, right? Wow. And then. We decided to, we had quarry dust as well, mm -hmm. which we use for these curbs that you're seeing, yeah. for, which would be obviously our plantation. Mm -hmm. And um, obviously we sprink, we, this is quarry dust you're seeing sprinkled on the, on the ground okay. here, which is, which is a temporary. So and to, and the to goal is to pave or? Pave, tile, tile we like whichever. greenery, okay. so a mixture of grass, then, uh, a little bit of tiling, not too much, okay. uh, pavement blocking, etc, mm. etc, cetera, et cetera, you know. Uh, obviously we've got our septic tank there as well. Okay. Um, cost. Cost, do you want to have a look yeah, at it? definitely. Yeah, let's have a look at it. This is our septic tank, obviously, over here, it's about, in dimension-wise, it's about, um, from memory, ooh, I think it's about maybe nine meters in one direction, I think, and about four meters, four and a half meters in the other direction, and about, cool. maybe about, depth. almost depth-wise, it's quite deep, um, mm -hmm. about seven meters or so, okay. so it's quite deep. Um, and overall cost was about, this is materials and labor, all in was about 14,500 Ghana cities. Mm. Uh, that's it, I have a video on it as well, if, you, yeah, if you're interested on the out. channel. Uh, but uh, from memory, that's, that's what that cost was. Okay. Yeah, but I say from memory, let me just check. I've, I keep on forgetting I've got the sheet in front of me, guys. So <laughs> let, me, let me just bring it up. I'm sure I have a dedicated sheet for the septic yeah. tank. Here we go. So septic so tank. organized. Septic tank was 15,118 Ghana cities. Okay. Yeah, so. So not 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 too not too different from that. Yeah. Okay. All right. And it's a hu it's a huge one to to take into account the main house and also to take into account the future plans that for we have the, for, for for that side yeah. of of the property as well. If you ever decide to go commercial, you have enough land to build like apartments or something yeah. on the side. Exactly. It's really cool. Exactly. Yeah. Alrighty. So let's go inside and check out. Talk about your first floor internal works. And yeah. Stuff okay. Like cool. Okay. Ready. Welcome to my humble abode. <laughs> I love, love your atrium. It's so beautiful. Yeah. It's really yeah. pretty. Yeah. You, you like the atrium, yeah? It's lovely. You have to tell us a bit about that. Yeah. As well. <laughs> the atrium, well, the inspiration came from my mum, really. Because okay. um, she, um, she built her home some time ago and she had an atrium in the middle of uh, quite a big house. You'd walk through and you'd have lovely yeah. sunshine to That's come through. So, so pretty. I, I always, this, you know, I always really wanted that. And, um, I kind of sketched it up for the company okay. um, to, to, to do a company called Sofa Me. I don't know if you've heard of them before. You may I have. I think I've seen it online. Seen it online, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I have to say, I'm gl for that particular feature, I'm glad I was, was here, here. Mm -hmm. because that was a total nightmare. You know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, total nightmare. In fact, I drew it for them, mm -hmm. and you know, that's in the idea. Yeah. They brought the engineering drawing. We agreed it. Happy days. They initially installed it, mm -hmm. but not according to the drawing. Uh, no idea. Just decided to do their own thing. You know, it's, it's, these are some of the challenges. Yeah. So, so in a case like this, where you've given them what you want, and then they go ahead, who's paying for the rework? They did. Okay. Yes, they did. You know, I just, I just kept on shouting at them <laughs> and kept on moaning, and they kept on coming back and forth, back and forth <laughs> until okay. they gave me what they I, gave you what I you want. Wanted. But I needed to be very vocal about it. Otherwise, uh, they would just bullied you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Got away exactly. With it. Got in the way of it. So, so they did. They did. They did it in a completely different way. It rained and it rained all in the house, oh. rained over the staircase, mad. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah. And, and that that continued for about maybe four, three or four times, five times. What? Yeah. They kept making the same mistakes. They kept going back and forth. No, no do this, 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 until I had to go, had to, go to the head office in Ach Achimota <laughs> okay. and, and, and sort them out there before they actually got it right. But, but it turned like it was worth the work. Perfect. This is beautiful. It looks so lovely when it's raining. Exactly. It's so beautiful. And I'm just happy that we're building in the rainy season as well. Yeah. Because testing it out of a hose is not the same. Right. You know, so we, it was heavy, heavy, heavy rains. Mm. And now we don't get a single leak up there. Nice. You know, I mean, a lot, has gone, nice. a lot has gone into the roof itself okay. for the waterproofing, which I can talk about when we get up okay. there. Uh, okay. But yes, this is, this is a, a, very, a very nice feature. It's double glazed, obviously, to minimize the amount the of solar or heat, yeah. heat you get through. So yeah, so 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 that's that's the story behind that. In terms of 
a cost. I don't know if I had the cost of that in here. Um, oh, but I do actually, you know what, even if I don't, I actually remember it off the top of my head because because you never forget the lessons learned, okay? Yeah, you never forget. <laughs> this is a big lesson. <laughs> you, you never forget the, night, the nightmares. If you were building again, would you do that again? With you, the headache, I think, in the end. Absolutely. Yeah. But you see, Lovely. sometimes you say the devil you know is better than the one you don't know. <laughs> You know, we've been through the pain. I know the guys personally. If I yeah. was to do it again, I'll probably still go with them, yeah. but be on their case. Yeah. From the beginning. From the beginning. Yeah. You have to be on them. That's <laughs> hard. Like you're paying for the service, but you still have to. Yeah, oh, okay. exactly. So, so yes, yeah, so, the, so, so the total cost was 20,751. Nice. For, for, for that materials mm -hmm. and labor, you know, but I guess some other people were charging me almost double that. So, it's very interesting the way there are so many discrepancies in the market. Which, which is one thing I don't like about, about Ghana, mm. is that the, the lack of price regulation. Right. You know, in certain, certain areas, mm. and even in the marketplace, right. you know, you, you go in the morning, it's one price, you go in the afternoon, it's yeah. another different price. Everybody prices the way they feel is right. Exactly, which is, which is, which is another Makes topic. Makes it but difficult. Anyway, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Okay, so let's talk about your first floor work. So first, internal. internal work. So obviously, once you, you build from ground to first, and obviously mm -hmm. you've got to do the, your, your first fix, and you know all yeah. about that. So obviously the, the, the conduit works, yeah. the, uh, the, the, the air conditioning pipes, all, all mm -hmm. in the walls, and, and, and that now. Ah, one thing I didn't say is because I'm, I'm an electrical design engineer and I work as a project manager also right. in construction, I did all my designs myself. Okay. I, I designed the whole building and the, and the services right. within it myself. Okay. So, so, it's, so essentially, the guys were, were, were constructing to my design. design. You okay. know, these are where the light switches are going to be. Mm. This is where the, everything. Right. Right. Okay. So that made it a little bit, a little bit easier in that mm -hmm. sense. Um, so in terms of a, a cost, because I know you like a cost for... for um, that's the start, so that we, what we call that stage B. So the mm -hmm. stage B, which is just the first fixed electrical. So the first fixed electrical is 2,000 Ghana cities as a budget, okay. but a spend of 1,250. Okay. Yeah, that's just the, you know, the conduits which we get from, yeah. um, um, I forgot the name of the company now. Is it Interplus? Yes, Interplus. Yeah. Yeah, Everywhere yeah. you go. Everywhere you go, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's, that was the cost for, for that side of things. Um, okay. Plumbing, plumbing, well, that was in the ground. It's about, mm -hmm. 50, about 1,500. 1500 there, but spent, actually spent about 1050 Wow. Yeah, so. Let's talk about your carpentry work. Those are the, hard, the most difficult guys to yeah, deal with yeah, usually. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about we, them. We got regarding the, the, the decking, is it? The decking, the doors. You just oh, bought the doors and yeah. had them fitted. The doors, um, let's go in here. So, the doors, put this open. This door is, is a steel door. Yeah. So these were, these were bought from a place in Medina, I can't remember what okay. it was. Um, and each door was about 900. Okay. Uh, installation, another 100. So, so let's say 1,000 cities a door. Okay. So that's a, that's a, a steel door for all, all the doors. Um, I see some woodwork in there. Yeah, come, come on in. Come on in. This, 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 is, a, this is a laundry. Busy? Okay. It's, it's a laundry. It's spacious for laundry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's in there? It's in there. Come, come on down. Yeah, so. This is this is an electrical an electrical room. Okay. Uh, as one of my subscribers says, oh, only an electrical engineer will um, have a whole room. have a whole room for electrics. Um, but th there are various reasons why I chose a whole room because mm -hmm. when we put in the solar system in the future, okay, we 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 have we want to have space for the battery, right. space for the inverter. We don't want to be under a staircase and have to crawl and yeah. and have enough maintenance space as well. And also, you know. We've been in Ghana for a while now. I mean, I was, I was, I lived here for a few years before I went to the UK. Mm -hmm. But um, we've experienced a lot of voltage fluctuation issues in right. Ghana, both low and high. So we decided to invest in an, an automatic voltage regulator, nice. okay, which obviously regulates the voltage as, as it comes into the yeah. house. Uh, and also, all these switches really are just about making it more resilient. Uh, if we if we lose a phase. Then you just can just switch it over yeah. and be on the other phase. These these lights, I don't know, all, all three phases are on right That's now. That's so cool. So yeah. you know, if the light, if one phase goes off, then one of the lights yeah. goes off, and you know exactly where, where you are. Um, the future solar system will plug in plug into there. Mm -hmm. we, 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 we'll, have, we'll have a generator outside that will also plug into here as well. So you know, we have sort of five different sources of power. That's really cool. Coming to the, coming yeah. to the house via the distribution board to make it as as resilient as as possible. possible really. So that's that's what that is about. And I've got I've got a video on that as well for those who want more information. I see that. Yeah. That's nice. Awesome. Um, you were talking about doors before yes. that, so I just go back onto the doors. So this 
it is a wooden door, really local local wood. This one okay. actually, um, and I um, I think I got it from just just on on the roadside. Okay. But again, you, you negotiate everything in Ghana. I think it started off around uh, four hundred Ghana cities a door or something, wow. but I managed to beat him down to I think because I think well actually my carpenter I think he went to the timber market or mm. somewhere and he got it cheaper around I think around two fifty or so. Okay. So, it, so you just have to finish this and then... Is that finish it, put the logs in, put the architrave in, and, that, right. and that's, that's, that's about 250 cities in okay. the end. Yeah, which is... Nice. We're, obviously, we're going, to, we're going to paint it okay. when we, when, you know, as, we, as we go along, you know, but... Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. That saves so many versus buying an already made, already ready. Exactly, exactly, door. exactly. So, we'll talk about your tile work, your skimming, plastering, your skimming, painting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Windows, ventilation, ventilation lighting, yeah. lighting, tiling, <laughs> tiling wise, obviously, you can see we're, we're all done. Okay. Um, again, we went to various places mm -hmm. in terms of tiling. Initially, we went to um, Spintex Road because you always, everybody says Spintex Road yes, to start with. so many things there. I know, yeah, Palace, Palace Home Decor, West African Hardware, and uh, I can't remember the other one. Um, what's, what was the other one we went to? Palace Home, yeah. Anyway, we ended up going to a place, uh, Twyford. Okay, the ones that manufacture their own tiles. Yes, exactly. Okay. Try, try for them. We, got, we got it from there. Okay. Uh, which are, they're fairly good quality, as you can see. Uh, a little bit cheaper than Spintex Road, mm. but still, still, still quite good. So we went with them. So they, have a, they have a depot, various okay. depots. We just, went, right. we just okay. went there and, and uh, mm. had, a, had a look at all the samples and all the patterns we wanted, right. <laughs> making sure there's enough in stock. You know when you buy tiles, yep. <laughs> you know, if you don't... You get halfway and realize there's not enough. Not enough, not enough yeah. available. So, so it's all, all, all generally all porcelain, apart from when okay. you go outside. Mm. Uh, and apart from on the walls in, okay. in, where you have ceramic right. tiles, uh, but that's where we got them, got them all from. Um, lights wise, can, can we? Sorry to cut you. On. Can we talk about the cost? On ah, cost. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. Okay. Total cost of tiling mm. for Let the me. ground floor for the first ground ground. In terms of the um, the tiling of uh, the whole the whole house, from a labour point of view. Uh, the towels, the marble towels you can see on the, the staircase, staircase. Mm -hmm. from a, a labour point of view, the labour was about just over 10,000 Ghana cities. Wow. Okay. Now again, the tilers, they came in, 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 in different sort of rates per square metre. Mm -hmm. Some, you know, the most expensive was around 35, okay. 25, but we managed to get a recommendation and beat them down to about 15 mm -hmm. cities per, per square metre from a labour point of view. Okay. From a materials point of view, um, the marble towels on the staircase, Okay, they were they were about they were twenty two thousand three hundred and twenty four for cities. everything. Yeah, for the for the for the, the staircase. Okay. Yeah, just the, just the material cost that came from a company called um, Stone Depot. All right. Which I'm sure you know. I'm sure you know them. Um, then you've got the um, other things like the the, the towel cement, uh, the, the the actual adhesive. We had a total budget for of about uh, twenty one thousand there. And the actual spend was about twelve thousand, so that, that was pretty okay. Yeah, that was really good. That was pretty okay in that in that sense. Um, what else for the tiling? Yeah, that's, that's, that that pretty much covers the tiling, mm. the materials and uh, yeah. the, the labour cost. I mean, what people need to be aware of is that that varying labour charge. Right. Yeah, which can, can vary from person to person. Right. Um, you know. Right. So, so let's do your. What should we do next? Your lighting, your windows. Lighting, lighting again. Oh, everything was designed was installed from my design on paper. Okay. Um, the actual light fittings were obtained from a company called um, New Lucky Electricals. Okay. Okay. They've got various outlets in um, Wisconsin. Um, we went to the one near Hacho. Okay. Okay. And in terms of the the, the lighting, lighting wise, I had a cost of about. It's about all together. It was about eleven thousand as right. a budget. Um, you have a lot of spotlights. Yeah, yeah, and and the LED strip lights just mm. want to create various scenes. Oh right, okay. In, yeah. Oh, that's what's in. It's in the recessed. In the ceiling. in the recessed POP oh. ceiling. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You know, so you had a cost a budget of about eleven thousand, but the actual spend was about eight eight and a half okay. in, in the end, which is good. I mean, this is this was a, a wholesale place. We managed to get it via the electrician we used, right. so that, that that was a, a great a, a great saving yeah. there. Is there a security camera? Yeah. So you had those installed. Was are you, do you mind giving us the cost yes. for all of that? No, the, the security. Those cameras have only just been installed last week. Okay. We, we've done we've done all the all the external. External. Yeah. And we just did, to be fair. 
to be fair, I, I never thought of doing it internally. I was just advised by other people that yeah. you, you should it's do it's good, yeah. It, it is good, yeah. yeah. So, so, so in, terms of, in terms of the cost of that, uh, the cost of the security system, which, which actually comes together with the electric fence and every, everything, mm -hmm. and the CCTV, you just break that down. Right, so, okay, if you just want the CCTV cost, then we had a, a budget cost of 4720 mm -hmm. yes then it was about more or less spot on okay yeah in terms in terms of that cost um the electric fence was about a four thousand mm. and that was that was pretty much what we spent right. there as well um so here you are internal kitchen first floor mm -hmm. ground floor and then uh, external as well all, all that all that was included we got the electrician to um to actually do the the cabling installation okay as in you know the piping in the ground yeah. the cat six cables the power cables he did all that because he was laying it at the same time so it made sense and then the um, the security guy came later on to fix all the okay. all the cameras which so that's how that worked out yeah. worked out pretty well that's cool. okay that's why your windows windows yeah ah windows yes i i did touch on windows um uh, briefly so we've got about uh, I think you've got about 30. <laughs> you've got so many. You've got so many. Yeah. Got about 30. The ventilation is really great in here. It like is. The cross ventilation is on point. It's on point. So yeah. much natural ventilation think, in this space. Stand here because I'm, I'm sweating. <laughs> so, so these these windows, I think we've got about 33 or 35 windows coming, but exactly. We went for the one who was in between, mm -hmm. about 33,000. Uh, so that's 33,000 for the materials and the labor. Okay. Yeah. For, for so the vendor you got it from fixed it, installed it for Absolutely, you. Absolutely, fixed it, installed it. We did him a video on yeah. it. Oh, okay. He's, he's had so much work since then. So that's, ah, yeah. okay. Yeah, so that's so that, so that pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go into the, the kitchen. Okay. So, so, this, so this is our, our kitchen. Hmm. Um, so we, um, it's a you know, medium sized kitchen from a, from, a, from a UK point of view, but maybe smallish from an African point of view, yeah. or okay. Ghanaian point of view. But uh, yeah, we're happy with it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we had the. Um, these Work these tops. granite tops mm -hmm. from a, a company called Mira Marble in in, in Circle. Yeah. Um, the it co total cost there was about nine thousand six hundred. Okay, for all of this. For all of that, okay. that's just a tabletop. Okay. Nine thousand six hundred Ghana cities. Okay. Um, the actual cabinet installation mm -hmm. was including the extractor fan. It comes okay. so dusty. Uh, from obviously Black Park. Ah. Yeah. You know them, yeah? Yeah, yeah. seen them around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're okay. So the total cost of the, of the kitchen cabinets, this is materials and labour, was mm -hmm. about 19,238 Ghana cities. Okay. okay. Um, and that, let me see, did that include the extractor? No. No, that did not include the extractor. Mm -hmm. The extractor was another, um, I think it was another 1,500 or 2,000 Ghana cities. Okay. Yes. Well, that's yes. not a bad price. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it's quite a good size. Quite a good size. It's digital and mm. it's, it's, it's pretty good. This, this, this is not the ones where it has to, it has to go outside. It's got a charcoal filter in, in Ooh, it. Nice. So it just it filters it within it, and then mm. you change the filter every, you know, three or four years or something, right. depending on how how frequently right. you cook. Did you buy the cabinets or you had them built? No, I had them built. The guy did everything. Okay, from scratch. He, yeah, nice. yeah, did everything, everything from scratch. I think he yeah, he sources on materials and just. Oh, okay do it all himself, which, nice. is, which is pretty good. That's an example of the LED strip I was yeah. talking about in, in, in the other living, space. uh, living spaces. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to see the, um, it's a little storeroom. Store Take it to the guest bedroom. Ooh. Sorry, this, this, this hasn't been open for a while. It's a bit dusty. Yeah. It's big. Yeah. Good so, size. So this is a, a, a guest bedroom. Um, obviously, camp, building in Ghana, everybody says, Look, everything has to be ensuite. So I said, okay. <laughs> Initially, the plan was was only had to have two two ensuite. We yeah. had two upstairs which was shared bathrooms. And nah, 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 nah. Can everything <laughs> ensuite? So, <laughs> would you agree with that? Yes. Is that a trend? I think it's important to us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So every every house every every house every room is ensuite mm. to meet that demand. Right. So that's that's cool. And uh, yeah, the towels work it's out very quite good nice size. as well. It's very very spacious. Your guests will leave. They'll stay here forever. Forever, and ever. forever and ever. Yeah. So here and in here. We, we, it's fairly a fairly sizable yeah, bathroom size. as well you know i'll talk about the water system outside actually we'll go back out in a minute mm -hmm. yeah so so because i designed the water system as well okay uh, yeah, yeah a nice sort of seating place and just need to get the shower shower and doors the glass. fixed exactly the glass yeah exactly that exactly that can you give us an estimate of that the cost here of of the of the glass shower the, yeah the bathroom oh the bathroom in itself Ooh. um 
the towels, I mean, I, I didn't break down this particular okay. bathroom out, but the towels were all in the, in the towel figure I, I gave you uh, uh, previously, mm -hmm. previously, you know. Um, in terms of the, the water system, what we didn't see outside mm -hmm. is the, how the actual water system comes together. Okay. So perhaps we can just go out here and I can show you. So here we're at, at the back of the house, we've got our, um, our water system, which okay. this, this area is, is, is serviced only by really electricity. Okay. So there's no, in fact, they're now starting to put in the pipes for the Ghana water. What? Oh, I know, I know. So most people here are, are on the borehole system. Okay. But to be fair with you, for what I've heard about the Ghana water, I'm happy with the borehole. <laughs> I'm very happy with the borehole. Okay. So we got a bo we got a borehole in there, okay. which you, you, you can come and see briefly mm -hmm. if you like. Can um, you give us an estimate for that? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. It's, it's, it's in my head. <laughs> uh, so what we have is we they came one day, spent about four or so hours mm -hmm. drilling about a hundred meters down into the ground. Okay. Okay, and and putting the pump in. So the the drill, the materials, and that pump which is right at the bottom mm -hmm. was about eight thousand five hundred Ghana cities. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that, that, that was what that, that cost is. It's going to be covered soon to match the metal cover, to match the final landscape when, it, when it's when done. When it's done already. So, so that pumps from here to that, that large tank okay. on the left-hand side, which is mm -hmm. a 10,000 litre tank. And then, ah, but so before you, as part of, when, you, when you're pumping the water from the ground, you also have to carry out a water test. Yeah. So, because obviously you can have salty water or not salty water, and, also, and you test it against the Ghana standards. Luckily, right. we didn't have salty water. Okay. So we didn't have to go for reverse osmosis because right. that cost a lot of money. That cost about 16,000, 17,000 Ghana okay. cities. So we only needed to go for a, a water filtration to get rid of the excess fluoride and the turbidity, which some other particles, which was which is only about 7,700 Ghana cities. Okay. And that's that blue cylinder you can see over there. Yeah. Okay. If you, yeah. So that's, that's that, so that filters the water from the big tank into, into the, the, the second one. tank. Okay. And there's there's a, a couple of pump, pump, automatic pumps in between. Uh -huh. Okay. So then from the second tank, it gets pumped all the way up to the roof, mm. which we'll, we'll go to. And I've got a 2,500 litre tank on the roof, okay. which then gravity feeds cold water down into the house. Nice. So which, which gives us enough enough pressure right. uh, without having to exhaust energy with a pump right. let's say okay right. and we also have a, a solar water tank up there as well nice which, like you've uh, got everything here yeah it's which so exactly which um obviously takes the cold water and heats by the sun and then delivers it down into the house nice. those guys were quite good they gave us a free pump so we just we used it why not <laughs> you know so uh, again this water system i i designed it all on paper nice. to, to 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 give it a guide to this is what i want did that go well this time? That went very well. Nice. That went very well. The only slight hiccup mm -hmm. was on the roof. Okay. Where, um, you know, the plumber, he installed all the pipe work. You know, this is a guy, you see, the artisans come in two different categories. There's one who, who has learned from, an, an, uh, let's say, apprentice. been an apprentice. Yes, yeah. learned from a master all the way, which is fine. Nothing wrong with it. So they know how to put things together, but they don't necessarily know the theory behind it right. and when things go wrong and where, where they meet challenges, how they overcome. So these guys put on all the, right, all the right pipes and everything, but there wasn't enough pressure because, you know, he's got a pipe horizontally mm. rising and, and, and he didn't realise yeah. that he has to put a pump in, in place. So, you know, that's... that's <laughs> You've had the experience, right? No, I haven't, but yeah, yeah, I just see what you mean with exactly. Them. So that's where it went wrong a little bit, but you know, easy fix. He's a good guy, so overall, it's fine. Put a pump in, and everything, everything is fine in that in that sense. Okay, but we'll see. We'll we'll go up and see that tank. Okay. Soon. Okay. This whole area was quite low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. They had to raise it. It's all part of the the, the raising the and leveling the, and, and the leveling. Your sixteen trips of lateral. Right. Sixteen trips Crazy. of lateral. Right. <laughs> Crazy. Absolutely crazy. Wow. You know, absolutely crazy. But cool. And let's talk about your, 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 since we're here, let's just talk about your fence wall. Fence wall, wall exactly. Okay, fence wall. Um, in terms of a rough length, it it's obviously goes around all the, the two plots, knowing that we have a, bit, a little bit extra. So it's probably 75 feet in one direction and about, uh, let's say, over 200 feet in the other direction. So you can, you can work out the total length. In terms of all in price, the price, uh, in, this is materials and labour, for the fence wall was a total of 24,932 Ghana cities. Okay, uh, if you want, do you want a breakdown of that a bit? Or yes, just a bit. Just a, li just a little bit. <laughs> so the total labor was about, let's call it 5,000. Okay. And the materials was the rest of the 19,000 okay. Ghana cities for, 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 for that. Okay, and that's, but that's just, that doesn't include the plastering of it. Right. Okay, the plastering of it was another 
and another 13,861. Wow, and there's no paint yet. <laughs> exactly, there's, wow. no, there's no paint yet. So it's, it's, it's a bit of a cost. Total, that gives you about, it's quite some cost, uh, 37, call it 38,000 Ghana cities. Right. That is total labor and materials, mm. construction, plastering, everything. everything. Yeah. Okay. So we've already done your fence wall. I think you mentioned that already. Yes. With a security system, you gave us the estimate. Yes, already. I did that. I did that. You said you mean electric fence? You mean? Yeah. Ah, okay. You yes. Did that. Yes. Yes. I did that. I did that. <laughs> I've got a story to tell about this. These electric cables. Okay. Let's as hear well. it. Yeah. So, so you know, when I came to the area, mm -hmm. uh, what, what I love is that we've got electric poles on this side and on the front, so we could we could tap in anywhere we wanted okay. to. So we decided to go. go well, everybody's at high level, so we just stuck at high level. Mm -hmm. To be fair, at, at that time, I didn't realize that in Ghana that you go under the ground as an option as okay. well. Um, so, you know, we did we did all this and the electrician we had at a time, he's caused a lot of headache and I'll give you more stories of, about him. <laughs> he, without anybody telling him, you know, he saw this, he saw this up in the ground and whilst we had we'd, we'd done all this lovely porch here, mm -hmm. he turned up one day and just chiseled through the whole porch. What? Yeah, he chiseled through the whole porch, dug up here, because said, oh, he thought this was temporary, they were gonna go in the ground. He didn't ask anybody, he just went ahead and did what he's he felt it. like. Yeah, no. and apparently he said, oh, I thought you mentioned that some time ago. <laughs> no, I, I didn't mention it. And, and then he went around, he blamed the builder, the builder blamed him. So uh, just, that's messy. Messy, yeah. messy, 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 messy. So I had to obviously abortive works, redo all that up again. It's really, really mad. And, you know, he's caused me a big headache. And obviously, you know, he's got, he, he got the sack in the end. Yeah. Because I, I'll tell you a big story as we go up to the roof. More, okay. more, more with him. So without further ado, maybe you want to go onto the first floor, do you want? Yeah, definitely. Awesome, Let's awesome. See that. Let's take the lead. This is an interesting, we didn't mention your chandelier. The chandelier, yeah. yeah. The chandelier, we got it from a place near Texbo Market, okay. which is Spintex. Spintex. The actual cost of this chandelier, including mm -hmm. the bulbs, was uh, 2005 Ghana cities. Okay. Yeah. So it's, 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 it's pretty, pretty nice. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we'll move on to the first floor. Let's talk about your railing before we get to the, the balustrades. Yeah, the oh, balustrade. yes. The balustrades. Again, that was by a local artisan who's done a, done a great job. The yeah. same guy who did the, um, the, 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 the gate. gate. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's, it's, it, needs, it still needs to be painted. Yeah. With, with oil paint to, to, mm. to finish it. Uh, balustrades, cost-wise, I can tell you that exactly. I'm sure I've got that that separated out. So the balustrades for the whole house, including the curve and, and everything. In, every, everything, was a total cost of drum roll, uh, <laughs> uh, sixteen thousand five hundred. Okay. Yeah. That is that is materials and labour. Right. The labour portion of that is about two thousand two hundred and twenty oh, okay. um, two thousand two hundred and seventy-three. Yeah, so yes. material is about fourteen thousand. So let's wrong, roll up. So these these are the marble tiles. These are the marble tiles. Very good quality. Design, yeah. yeah, it comes from a Stone Depot. Yeah. Who are a good company, but again, I had a bit of a nightmare with them as well. Really? Yeah. In term, just in terms of, they came to site a couple of times, you know, and um, the way we were in the construction, you know, this this balustrade had already been installed. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, the, the fourth time they came and said, oh, we really want to install this without the, the balustrade. Balustry. So we want to take it off and put it and say, oh, we just, we just couldn't stomach all the <laughs> abortive works. <laughs> so I so, said, you know, guys, just give us the material. Our and Tyler will do it. Yourself. You know, there's rework happens a lot of times. Yeah. And I just, I just, we just had enough. So just let the Tyler do it and done, you know. But let's go into the master bedroom. We, we, I, I like this. <laughs> Before we go, okay. I like this. Let's let's talk about. I know we've already talked about yeah. it, but let's just appreciate the view. I can see your poly tan from here. Yes, okay. exactly. That's a two thousand five hundred liter one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So again, this here, this is another another issue of um of coordination, because um when when this when this chandelier was being installed, mm -hmm. um at that point the electrician forgot to run the pipe and the electric what? into. If, you suffered all. If I wasn't around, yeah, you know, and, it I, been. You know, and I was around that time, and I had to stop them. Look, run the conduit and the cables into the in between the metal channels to get to that point. Yeah. Yeah. So that when, when <laughs> unless you come in and start the chandelier, it's like, oh, where's the cable? What? Madness. <laughs> the, the, the kind of basic mistakes. You, yeah. You, you this see, is, this is, is a lot. It's, it's, it's crazy. It doesn't. Crazy. How how did he? They just, some wow. of them, obviously there are some quite, very good quality yeah. artisans out there, but yeah. some of them yeah. are just, they're, they're, they're very excited about the money, but yeah. not about actually 
getting the, care, the work done. Getting it properly, yeah. But it's all still worth it. So it is. Because so, with ahead all these build, challenges, guys. you would think that next time you say you'd rather buy, but yes. then you still build. I'm still building. Nice. Still so build. We definitely have to talk about that. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. So, so yeah, this is a lovely view, and that's the tank, yeah, as, as, as you said, from there. Very lovely view. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. Let's okay. check out the, the, the breeze. There's more Airy breeze here. Space. Airy space, yeah. Okay, thank you. Oh god, it's so airy. And your view, my goodness. The view is magnificent. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely. It's so airy. It is. I took some some other challenges we had, uh, mm -hmm. you know, in the in the neighborhood. Some mm -hmm. neighbors, you know, I, I won't I won't look behind me. We're well, okay now, but <laughs> But, but basically, you know, when this, <laughs> when this building wasn't here, uh -huh. you can imagine the, 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 we're below the mountains, okay. but the rain is all coming down and used to flood them at the back, you know, mm. and, and when we built the structure, built the fence wall, we, we, we minimized that situation. Okay. But all of a sudden, they said that, oh, we're causing them, we're causing them flooding. You know? What? Madness. They said we're, ca we're causing them flooding. And so we had to meet with them and obviously very aggressive, very aggressive over the phone, but we had to meet with them and, and you know, negotiate it out and said, okay, you know, you, you need to fill yeah. and do your fence wall. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no drainage on the road, but that's yeah. down to the, the municipality. So you need to fill your, your, your back and obviously any pipes that come out of our fence wall at the back, we'll just turn them down and yeah. try to minimize the, the pressure. But yeah. yeah, that was a headache as well. So people need to There's bear that so in mind. so many challenges. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But you know, we, we are neighbors, so we need to, you know, seek peace and Learn as to much live as possible. Together. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, no, the air breeze is, 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 is lovely. It's lovely here. Yeah. Absolutely lovely here. To the master bedroom? Yes, shall please. Okay. Okay, so this is the master this bedroom. Big. So spacious. Yeah, uh, I can't remember the exact size, but yeah. <laughs> pretty, spacious. Spacious. <laughs> pretty spacious. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is um, master bedroom, walk-in walk -in closet. We're going to get our, our recommended carpenter to do something in there for us okay. soon. Um, and then we've obviously got the, um, the bathroom, mm -hmm. which is quite sizable as well. Estimate. Estimate for. You've already given us towel. I've already given you towel work. Bathroom fittings. Oh. Uh, we didn't talk about that. Yeah. Oh, we, okay, yeah. plumbing. We did talk about plumbing. Talk about plumbing. Yeah. The, the next stage is to actually buy the, the, the jacuzzi here, the, you know, his and her basin here, yeah. the shower here, the toilets. We're now going to do that. Okay. Going to do that. Um, so that, that price will come. But, you know, all of that is, is done. All these towels are from. Twyford, or however you, however you pronounce that word, <laughs> Twyford or whatever, all that comes from them. Okay. You know, I've, um, I've got a couple of isolation points here. So if there's a water issue, I can isolate this area nice. and not turn off the whole water to the whole house. Right. Uh, there's a, a, an allowance for, uh, um, a, you know, you know the his and her base and you right. can have a mirror above it and the an light. integral light. Exactly. Right. Exactly that. So because you have a solar heater thing at the top, you don't need water heaters in here. No. You don't need that. So that's saving you costs as exactly. well. Exactly. So eventually it will pay for itself because yeah. it's, it's free energy, so yeah. to speak. And then you've obviously the walking walking closet be behind him. Okay. Here. Good size. Nice. This okay. is cool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. That is uh, what that is. It's sort of a monitor controller for the hot water, okay. which we'll see upstairs in a minute. Um, yes. So. So what? What are you going to put here? A family area. This is like, or just like, a, lounge like a family area. area, lounge area. Yeah. Okay. Ex exactly that. Exactly that. So you've got more balcony space in the front. Can we see yeah, that before we head here? Absolutely. Absolutely. I like your outdoors so much. Yeah. Yeah. It it's a nice door. It is. Yeah. The doors as well. Oh, this ah, is solid. Solid door. Very solid heavy. Door. The, the door, mm -hmm. um, each door was 4,500 Ghana cities. For these bigger ones? These bigger ones, yeah. Okay. So that. four of them gives you 18,000 Ghana cities, yeah. Uh, it's a solid door. Very it's strong. Very strong. Um, initially... So is it wood mixed with metal? Yeah, yeah metal inside. Because you get that exactly. feeling from it. Exactly. It's very, very firm. Very solid. Initially, we went to Superlock, okay. which I'm sure you know. Again, they do firm doors as well, but again, like chemo. Double the cost, so okay. You just yeah, to, so you decided to go yeah, elsewhere. Exactly, but it's right. solid. Solid, Yo. solid, really, really solid. Okay. Okay. And here. Ah, this is nice. Love, love this view as well. So of the front balcony, so you can just have a nice rocking chair and just mm, yeah. nod off in the afternoon. <laughs> 
the breeze. The breeze, yeah. It's, it's quite a peaceful area. Very peaceful. It's, exactly, yeah. Very, very peaceful. The mountain view is awesome. Just so beautiful. It is. Okay. This is the vision I have for this place. Like you had something where you could just lie down and sleep. Somebody's already done that Do for that. you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. She has one of your workers. Yes, exactly. Comes that. to take his naps out yeah. here. Exactly. Exactly. The plants. Yeah. Yeah. Love the plants. Mm -hmm. So this is a couple more rooms. Wow. Well, we haven't talked about your painting. Yes. Skimming. Skimming. Plastering. Plastering. Painting internally. Yes. I will. Um, the um, the the painting work. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the labor cost for the painting work was again. This was a recommendation okay. from a guy um, who, who his total cost I think was for the painting of the whole house internally. I think we ended up charging me uh, three thousand five hundred Ghana cities. What? That's a very good price. Yes. Uh, the other two quotes were around the five thousand, six thousand mm. mark. Uh, but this is a recommendation of a friend, and there's was a relationship. This is the entire space. Sorry? The entire space, right? Entire house internally. Internally. Yeah, yeah. That's a very good rate of... Yeah, 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 very mm. good rate. I mean, uh, the paints, I got all the paint from um, Accra to do, okay. coral paints. Yeah. Um, and I think one 20 liter bucket of paint, I got a video on this as well. Uh, yes, because if you go for the standard colors, it's much cheaper. Okay, you can guess the standard... That mix in it. That mix, okay. we mix Exactly, this is, this is a mixed color we wanted right. more of a, a tertiary look mm. okay, and that is about 800 cities 810 cities per 20 liter bucket okay and for the whole house we needed about i think about 12 buckets right. yeah about 12 buckets approximately in total okay yeah. so that gives you an idea mm. of, of that yeah. yeah yeah all right so again this is going to be a walk-in wardrobe so we need to get the carpenter to to sort that out for us all the best to the carpenter. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to recommend me a very good I, one. I won't. I don't recommend them. They always disgrace me. They always disgrace you, yeah. <laughs> Every time. Thank you. That's the issue. That's they the always issue. disgrace me when I recommend them, so I've stopped. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is the exact same replica of the, of the, of the previous um, room. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, exact same replica. Mm -hmm. same. Everything's the same. Nice. Okay. Let's talk about your roofing work. A roof we're getting there, I guess we're going there now. Great. Yeah, this is the that's the, the showpiece. Okay. So we we'll go we we'll go we we'll go on to the roof now. There's a lot of stories about the roof, mm. um, inspiration and challenges, but all worth it in the end. Yeah, so really. this is really cool. Oh, I love it. That's such a good use of space. Oh, nice. This is a cool feature. Yeah. Very, very cool feature. I like it. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Ah. So this. Like I would stay up here all day. <laughs> yeah, we're looking forward to, to camping up here. Yeah, it'll be point. so yeah. cool at night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Stargaze. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But you need something with shading. Yes. 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 Definitely. We do need that. Mm. We do need that. We Planning on putting something there. Okay, on the yeah. platform over there. Yeah, you know, in, initially I was going to have a gym there, but I've changed my mind because okay. I'd put it somewhere else. But to have some sort of shade, mm -hmm. maybe an office, I don't know. But I need to find a, a good company that can give a solid wooden structure. Right. There, which I'm, I'm still searching for. Yeah. Okay. Since carpentry is a headache, I'm not sure <laughs> if, it's, if it's a good choice. This roof was really, really uh, the dream because we wanted to create... Um, another level yeah you know rather than just the, your standard roofing sheets uh -huh. we wanted to create another level for for events for just relaxing in the Hanging evening out. we want to yeah. camp around here and obviously initially when we came up with this plan there was a lot of resistance from people saying oh it's not a good idea because of potential water leaks etc mm. um which there is some truth to that mm -hmm. but it's all about doing it and doing it well wow. so yeah. i have a video as well on my channel on on, on the, a couple of them on the roof and a lot has gone into it in terms of the waterproofing. Okay. You know, the concrete itself was a, is, is a waterproof concrete. Mm -hmm. It's mixed with various chemicals and then the company delivers and a truck loads and they, 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 they pour it, pour okay. it on. So the, the, the concrete itself is waterproof. The screed on, that, on top of that is, is waterproof. Nice. You know, the tiling, the, the grout in between is also is waterproof, waterproof. It's itself as well. So you need, to, you need to take all that into consideration. Even above here, this sort of screed element here mm -hmm. is also with, a water, with waterproofing chemicals nice. within and also a slope. 
so that when it rains, it, it just slopes onto down. the ground. And obviously the, the, the roof itself is, is to a four, is laid to a four. There are galleys in the corners. Okay. So if you, if you come along here, you can see the, right. the, the galley. Yeah. In the, the galleys in, so it's in each corner? It's in each corner, okay. yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah, so, so that... that um, so this is the top of your atrium. That's the top, top How of the solid atrium. is this? Can I jump you, on it? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> don't jump on it. Uh, you can, you can, you can definitely walk on along the corners. No, along along here where the, okay. where, where, the, where the beams are. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely walk along here, but not 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 walking on the glass. Yeah. Um, they say you, you, they say, but I won't, I'm not going to try. It. I'm hmm. not going <laughs> to. Because they do say is is that strong and strong. is that safe? Yeah, it was it, it was very very heavy when it, it was very very heavy. I, I wouldn't risk it for exactly, anything. Exactly for anything. Don't don't risk it at all. <laughs> don't risk it at all. You know. Um, Aha! Uh -huh. This is this is what I wanted to say here. So, the cha the, the 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 significant challenge here, or the annoying thing, is you know when you when you get to the roof level, mm -hmm. or when you when you're doing the decking, mm -hmm. you've got all the the iron rods in there. Yeah. You're putting all the plumbing pipes, all the electrical pipes, and everything, and the, the builder is coordinating everybody. And so we got to a point. Check the drawings. Has, has everybody finished? Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's everybody said it's finished. Done, done, done. We pour the, the the waterproof concrete, very expensive waterproof concrete, <laughs> yeah. And then a couple of weeks later, this electrician sneaked same back. Same electrician. Same electrician nah, as down there. Here's a problem. This is where I lost it with him, yeah. He sneaked back because he forgot one pipe coming up, and he drilled through all the waterproof screed oh. concrete, drilled all the way down, yeah. It's, it, so it, who is paying for his damages? You, you are. You're covering it. I'm coming to that. <laughs> coming to that. He drilled all the way through, yeah. If we didn't have a caretaker on site, we wouldn't know. Yeah. yeah so, you have, so you have to have a caretaker for, for other reasons. He drilled all the way. So whilst we, we had finished the roof, we knew that there was lots of rain, no leaks. All of a sudden, oh. it started getting leaks. Leaking through the kitchen, leaking. Hey, what's going on? So we had to do investigation, forensics, <laughs> <laughs> forensic concrete investigation. And we found out that he was he the cause. He had done that. I hope he, he paid something for it or you just had to let it go. He kept on blaming the builder. The builder kept on blaming him. Again, we had to spend, to, me, to me, mend his error, we had to spend another mm. uh, uh, 1,500 Ghana cities. Look at that. Yeah. And he so, doesn't pay even a peso of that. Peso of that, yeah. That's sad. Yeah, but that was a nightmare. But, yeah. but that was done and now we're back to no leaks again, which, okay. is, which, which, is, which, which is, is perfect. Which is great. Which is perfect, yeah. So this is the, this is the water tank mm -hmm. I, I, I referred to. And again, um, I've got a video explaining how all, all the water system works in the in our on our channel but it is all is all pumped t t to here from downstairs mm -hmm. up to this 2500 liter tank mm -hmm. and then the cold water is channeled into that 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 pipe dives down into the ground somewhere this pipe runs down feeds all the the cold water taps in the house bathroom okay. kitchens everything via gravity nice. onto onto the ground uh, we've left some allowance for a tap if you want to put a tap on the roof mm -hmm. okay uh, obviously the cold water also feeds this solar hot water tank Okay. okay, which then which then provides hot water into the into the house via the pump. Nice. The cost the cost of this, which is what you're waiting for, is uh, twelve thousand three hundred Ghana cities. It's much better than I expected. It's but expensive, but it's much better than what I expected to hear. Yeah, this was the pump I was I was talking about. Okay. Because initially, when he put the the, the pipe in, it, it went in there. So oh, wh why is it not filling up? It's not working. It's not working. And we had to we had to call these guys, and there was a big argument between them. No, it's your fault. No, it's your fault. Oh, but in, in actual fact, it was the the plumber's fault because he needed to have a pump here to get the extra pressure to go to go mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, but um, but that's that got resolved, which we, 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 we you know, which is not, not too bad. This is a future space for solar panels. Maybe okay. a, bit, a bit here, maybe a bit there. So those those. Big conduit you can see go right into mm. down into the yeah. electrical room. They were in the bottom okay. left okay. hand okay. left hand yeah. corner. So talk us through this system. This your system cover for your ah stages. right yeah. So um, this really initially we had a we were we had a, a big structure mm -hmm. or we were thinking about having a big structure big if you like big triangular structure where you'd walk up and then you just open the door and walk onto the roof. Okay. From the outside we thought it would uh, it would impact on the on the beauty from the outside okay. because this is meant to be a hidden roof okay. so, so to speak you're not supposed to see too much from from the outside so we said okay we decided to something go for flat. horizontal. Okay. Can you give us an estimate here? I don't know who will be building something similar but yeah in case somebody is inspired and wants to do something like this. An estimate of this let me see because it's the same person who was doing that let's see rooftop let's see in automated system and the and the ceiling door we had a total of about seven thousand eight hundred Ghana cities okay okay 
including the motor and everything, uh, and everything uh, with it, within it. Yeah, so, so that's, that's pretty cool. I hope that you have enjoyed this video until this point. We'll continue our conversation with Kingsley next week and talk through some costs that we missed, challenges with building in Ghana, building versus buying in Ghana, and so much more. We'll also check out his 5,000 Ghana City tiny house. So hopefully we see you next week. Have a beautiful day, a beautiful week, and an amazing life. Bye. Oh, <laughs>